This is MathGuy.com. My name is Mark Herodimos. We're going to pick up right where we left off with our uh, linear programming problem. This is video three. Uh, all right, so we've got everything graphed. We've got our system of inequalities graphed over here. The next part is figuring out where do we shade. Uh, in the uh, language of linear program, we call this trying to locate the feasible region. The feasible region. Okay, so that's a, a, a term that comes up. Or in other words, we're going to figure out where to shade. All right, well, let's see. Let's start with the easy one. If y is greater than or equal to 0, remember that's this one right here, y is greater than or equal to 0, that means it's got to be above this line. So I'm going to put these tiny little arrows, okay? This arrow is going to indicate where I should shade. So I know I'm going to shade above because it's greater than. All right, and it says also here for the third line, uh, x is greater than or equal to 20. That's this one right here, this vertical one. So it's greater than means I go to the right. I'm going to shade to the right. So I know I'm going to shade everything to the right. So, so far I know I'm not going to shade here or here or anyone over here. It's everything that's going to be to the right. So any one of these little sections is fair game at the moment. All right, now when you're trying to figure out where to shade, you know, for the harder problems, like let, let's take actually the, the first one is the easier of the two. Here you have this diagonal line, right, that goes through 100 on the y-axis, 100 on the x. You're trying to figure out which side to shade. Well, I'm going to do is test the origin and see if it works. So if you picture this, putting in a 0, right, I'm just actually testing this point right here, 0, 0. You put in 0 for x, you put in 0 for y is 0 less than or equal to 100, and you would say yes. 0 is less than or equal to 100, so that means I'm going to shade where that point is. In other words, I'm going to shade everything below this diagonal line because a point below the diagonal line works. If I had chosen some point over here, it would not work inside this equation, so that's why I'm not shading over here. All right, so so far it's got to be either this big section or this section over here. All right, now we're going to do the same thing here. I'm also going to test the origin and see, does the origin work in this line, right? I'm going to test this. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm testing this one. And I'm trying to see, does the origin work? If it does, I'm going to shade below it. If the origin doesn't work, I'm going to shade above it. So you put in a 0 for x, a 0 for y, right? That's the origin, 0, 0. 0 plus 3 times 0, that's all 0, right? 0 plus 3 times 0. 0. Is 0 less than or equal to 150? It sure is. So when I substitute the origin in this, it turns out to work. So I know I'm going to shade also below this diagonal line. So I'm going to put these little arrows here as well. So I have to go below this diagonal line. I have to go below this diagonal line. And I have to go above the horizontal and to the right of the vertical. That only leaves this section in here, right, this section. So I'm going to get rid of these arrows because they're going to get a little confusing if I let them sit there. But it means that I'm going to be shading inside there. I'm going to change this now to blue. And I know that I'm going to be shading all of these points that are inside that uh, figure. And that I, uh, looks like four-sided, so yes, it is a quadrilateral. So we've got our quadrilateral determined, and that is our feasible region. All right. In our next video, we're going to figure out how to locate those uh, intersection uh, points called vertices. And that's in our next video. All right. So make sure you go to mathguide.com. Check out our interactive quizzes, lessons, and activities.